blesses my heart to see what Habitat does for the vulnerable groups here in our communities in Zambia. We have a methodology called the study circle groups. So these are groups that are given information that they can share with each other. I like the study circle because without knowledge, there's no development. It's the issue of sharing information on the issues that are affecting us as a community. We've been able to come up with a program that looks at educating families on inheritance rights, land rights. Every person has got rights to own lands, like the disabled whether female or male. Within the study circle groups, there is what we call civic leaders. These are people that belong to either the local government or the central government even. This program has really helped me as a civic leader. It gives an opportunity for the ordinary community member to express themselves and it empowers them. We train families also in financial literacy. They are able to help one another to save money. When you keep money, if you are keeping it to yourself, by yourself and for yourself, it can't grow. We feel empowered by ourselves through this initiative. We want to make sure that through our savings groups, programs, uh, livelihoods of our local people improve. We cannot do it all, but all that we can do is to demonstrate through projects to government to say these are doable. We as Habitat for Humanity, Zambia, we have demonstrated that government can actually take that in their own hands and be able to provide water, clean portable water for drinking, sanitation, clean hygiene, and most importantly, making sure that they have decent shelter. With more partners on board, we are able to serve more families. We can see hope, we can see a future that is bright for our vulnerable communities. <music>